Yeah, welcome back to the firehouse <coughs> for some more firehouse reasoning. And uh, a happy new year to all those who um, celebrate such matters as it was, you know, as the new year. In the last reason, I was reasoning about um, willpower, endurance, and patience. In this reason from the firehouse, I'm going to be um, reasoning about um, the Noah, fearless, serious, and their brethren funny. Yeah. I'm going to um, dedicate this reasoning to um, to a sister in that I met on um, Twitter. Her name is MK Lively. I never actually met her physically, you know what I mean? Because I'm the spirit, well, where these people move like I'm telling you, like um, the Noah, fearless and serious that's where you encounter such beings i say you know what i mean because i haven't actually met the sister physically if you know what i mean you know what i mean i've encountered her like i would put it in the spiritual depths if you know what i mean now because life is an in and out as an example you can travel around the world all over it then as an example meeting different people in different places can't you you see what i mean that's what we can do externally but internally there is also um ways that we can travel as well within you see what i mean so even though i never encounter the sister in an outward journey, I encounter her and an inward one, if you know what I mean. And we are an encounter as well, like I say. Only souls that are um, Noah and is um, serious and fearless and funny can be at those depths. You see what I mean? And the funny thing, well, what I, what I, in my own way, I've seen things. Why, why I think it's so funny, is that she's a female and a young one at that. You know what I mean? To meet a soldier of truth at that level, at that age, and in the feminine form, well, to a fire lion like I and I, I say this, is um. I say it was like meeting myself then, which it was like, it was meeting myself, if <laughs> you know what I mean. Because within I and I is the male and the female, you see what I mean? So I have the um, feminine within me, I just encounter it within her, if you know what I mean. You see what I mean? So it's like um, you, are, you are like a hard and a soft. If you know what I mean. Well, anyway, in these deeper regions that I'm telling you about, where the Noah walk, with his brethren fear, fearless and serious, and his um, and their sidekick funny, they only deal with um, knowing as it was. You know what I mean? Because in this world, you have a lot of um, the opposite of knowing, I say, is believing. You see what I mean? And because the world is, um, well, everything here I say is of a positive and a negative nature. Belief is negative towards positive then. If you know what I mean. Like how night would be today. So you find that um, believers are negative souls and the opposite of knowing. You see what I mean? So, it, the Noah knows that. From, from the Noah knows this then. He knows um, plain and straight then that look. Nothing a believer says can be right. How can you be right if you, if you, if you are on the negative, which is the wrong side, you know? 
you have two ways positive negative eh? the positive is the right the negative is the wrong so anything that's on the negative is wrong you see no one know this you don't have to um, debate the matter so I know I wouldn't have anyone come and telling him that um, oh God sent his son here you know uh, that he did send either the first third last or uh, middle prophet you know what I mean because they know already know that God cannot do such things you know what I mean life is a matter of choice between positive and negative positive cannot force you to do anything and neg negative cannot force you it's up to you isn't it? you see what I mean now because you know as I say move with this bridge with fearless and all those um, and serious <laughs> serious things dead serious you know and funny you see what I mean they don't fear anything is it if you know what I mean this is on the internal road I'm talking about you know when we move in internally you know what I mean we have no fear now in the internal there is the other great master that you're going to encounter as well you see what I mean I call this one the number two the original negative itself you know what I mean I know that um, human beings um, pick negativity up and act on it but I'm not on about their action here now I'm on about the negative master the one within well fearless know this one because the man they don't fear anyone at all you know what I mean fearless Fearless moralist thing. What is the point of fearing um, a part of your own being anyway? You, you, might, you might as well face and find out what is going on and how things really is in these deeper depths, if you know what I mean. So, um, fearless is a man. Well, I don't know if it's fear. Well, you know, I know this um, one that is within anyway. The one that um, beings here refer to as Satan. And he's forever, well, well, the believers do it anyway. And he's forever referring her, uh, making some in the end of that, um, up in their imaginary heaven, as God to them, that um, some conflict went on between God and the devil, as it was, and the devil get cast down and is wreaking havoc on earth here now if you know what i mean so all this disgusting behavior that we see taking place on planet earth here now has in some way they these idiots are claiming got something to do with the terrible and dreadful devil that is within thyself you know the one that is always tempting you <laughs> yes that one but that one now yeah, well, I am not going to deny having observed the matter and I've spoken to this one on numerous occasions, daily, minutely, secondly, that yes, the one is of such a way as to um, have no intention then of spitting anything good into anyone's ears, but to just constantly turn out negativity. And that if any being choose then negativity that this master will educate them in the art of negativity either directly or indirectly to others who have um, decided that they would like to be um, learn from the great master himself let's call the one the devil from the great one himself the devil so others are learning from this one you see what I mean? Well, I and I learn from this one as well, you know. Yeah. 
Because the things that I'm saying are actually um, what I've learned from the great one himself. The devil that is within that, that, that is. He's also a, a master teacher himself. You see what I mean? Now, the thing about the devil now, like we say, I marvel at creation sometimes. And the wisdom then of God. Yeah. When you actually examine things down now, this is the internal within a monobot. The great master himself, the number two, the great um, negative energy itself, the, the force itself that creates negativity, yeah? right there in ourselves. And the great light itself, you know, mighty fire. Guess what? Have no power over us. You see what I mean? Imagine that. You know what? Because we have the freedom of choice. So, technically then, technically, our great friend the devil here you now can rant and rave all day long about what we should do and shouldn't do here. You know what I mean? But the fact is, he can't tell us what to do because what, what is going to be done differently is what fearless decide. If you know. <laughs> what fearless and the know what decide is going to be done. That is what is going to be done. Not what the... Um, the great master say, you know what I mean? We make the final decision on that. You know what I mean? When we reason with that one, we just reason to find out how negativity works. You, know, you see what I mean? And what's its limitation and so forth and so forth and so forth. You know what I mean? But we, we are not afraid of that one because that one ain't going to do you anything. It's not a monster, is it? It's just, that, it's just a... Like we say, a natural function within oneself that one should um, come to know and understand. You see what I mean? Now, these kind of things that I'm talking about, like I said, this reason is dedicated to this sister still, you know. It's a reason that this sister can understand. If you know what I mean. So, for anyone to understand these kind of reasons, still, you know, they have to have these qualities that we are reasoning about. Otherwise, you couldn't have reached to those depths. You see what I mean? One has to be self disciplined within the self. You know what I mean? To reach these levels where you become a Noah. And you become fearless and serious, but funny at the same time. I always say funny, God, we don't tell jokes. <laughs> Laugh at a lot of things, but never tell jokes. Leave that to the joker. I say the joker is the opposite of funny, you know, but we don't imply him. He works for the negative side, telling jokes to make a living. Saba, drink. Yeah, so when it comes then to um, what beings then, as an example, like I said before, would call God or even the devil. The Noah don't believe in such matters. Because, well, you know, the Noah, <laughs> the Noah is a bridge in that know that to believe is not to know. Isn't it? To believe is ignorance. And the Noah is not into any ignorance. You know what I mean? When the, when the Noah hear about God, the Noah take it that okay, you know. Screw that. We are now here talking about a form of higher intelligence. Now, does this form of higher intelligence exist? As it, or is it just a fairy story in the mind of man then? You see what I mean? 
So then you have to examine the evidence to see if this thing is real. But one thing we don't know, like I said, look, <laughs> you know is a simple man, can I move with Mr. Simpleton as well. The Noah knows that every investigation has to start from a simple point. So before the Noah go into any one of these investigations to find out whether this God is real or not, what the Noah do is kind of clean up then, if you know what I mean. Look for his own faults then, within his own being, you know, and clean up as much as he can, you know. Hey, you know, he's not perfect still, you know. Don't get me wrong. You know, he's a man who is vigorously Always working on himself like how a jeweler would work on a, 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 a diamond then, you know, to polish it. So the, all through the life that's how the um, Noah is always working to correct false then, as it was. Yeah? So by doing this now, you see what I mean? This is what now um, allowed the Noah then to um, understand whether this thing is true or false. <laughs> whether this this thing is any if there is any God. You see what I mean? And when after after cleaning up then and invest because I'm serious, you know. This is what I mean. Because they know I'm moving serious. They know I cannot joke, you know. Hey, you know I can joke. <laughs> Car phone is always laughing, isn't it? But trust me man, you know I'm serious man. Can you know what serious is like? The man in a ram brasta. When it comes to the investigation. The man, don't deal with it. Joker can't come this way. Trust me. You see what I mean? The man is serious. So what I'm saying you now, when we get that serious you now and clean up, this is any being can do this a man about you now. Get serious with yourself and clean up. See? That is when now you are going to be in a position, like I'm telling you, to understand if, whether there is any intelligence within thyself or not. Whether what I'm telling you about the great master himself, terrible and dreadful one, the number two this I'm on about, you know, Satan, the great master, the one that is every, he's everywhere at once as well, just like the number one. In the time that was the time now and the time that is to come. You know? Always spitting out bullshit into people's head. Yeah? And then um, over there, you know, you have the, um, the mighty fire itself, the one that spit it like wisdom and understanding, uh, whatever you want to call God then. You see what I mean? No, because we are in the field. Look at this now, technically now. Because we come into the play as well, isn't it? <laughs> we are not outside of the play. We are in the play. You know, those are just different energies over there. But here now, we are in the play. Now, we are in the, we are in the, um, let's say we are in the house of Satan then. If you know what I mean. Because we're not in the house of the light, are we? We are in the house where positive and negative operate. So over here we call over here the mind. See what I mean? Number two, I observe in the sky there. Sun and the moon. We are in the field of the moon. Where things like I tell you, this is where we encounter, like I'm telling you, coming back to my sister there again, the female and the male. You see what I mean? Always a balance in life. You see what I mean? But it so happens now, like I'm saying, this is why they know I know all these things like I'm telling you. If you don't clean up, because you are in the mind, innit? If you don't clean up this mind, you cannot receive the light of the terrible and dreadful one that is within thy own self, the master himself. You see what I mean? Now, this is what the Noah know, you know. Eh? So, the Noah know this, the Noah is a bedroom that is certain, you know, beyond certain. And serious them no serious and fearless don't ramp. So they wouldn't be that dedicated if them no them serious about them things, you know what I mean? 
So we know this beyond um, certainty, if you know what I mean, about this one that is within. And that, um, because this one is always permanently here. <laughs> you know? The one don't have to send anyone. Not only is the one permanently here, the one is always talking to everyone. They are the ones who are not listening. You know? Running out outside of themselves. Talking about um, some master and profit and all uh, this kind of thing, and you know. But absolutely nothing goes like that. You see what I mean? But you ain't going to encounter the real, the real one, like I say, until you clean up. And then you, because if you don't clean up, you cannot enter the depths. You see what I mean? Where you can meet someone. Just like I'm telling you how I meet the daughter. I have met her physically. I've met, met her beyond physicality. You see what I mean? Where you can be certain about someone then. Well, I can. Because I know without seeing them that they have to be a bad soldier to reach those levels that I'm talking about. I to understand them when I speak the fire. You see what I mean? Only another warrior soul could be at those levels. Yeah, man. If, if anyone is on Twitter, because I encounter on Twitter, any, check out the account of MK Lively. And reason with this history, whether you want to be male or female, Irrelevant. You know what I mean? I can't say enough about this um, this sister, you know what I mean? Because I know it's not <laughs> I'm a general, I don't have heroes, you know. <laughs> I she was for that reason. But trust me, when I encounter anyone who loves truth like me, what? Well, I love them to the bones. Oh yeah, sir. And I say, that's what I say when um, when we think about this sister, I say, yeah, man, I have to make a, a video of mention her. Because trust me, it's just like meeting me. You know, see? But me even rate her better because I say, no, man, I am just crude in the way I deliver the truth. But you see, this, this daughter here you now, as far as I'm concerned, anyway, she's educated. So she use her words differently still. I mean, love that. If you know what I mean. It's like, well, it's still opposites, if you know what I mean. It's a male and female thing, but it's like opposites. But opposite in oneness, if you know what I mean. And I find that beautiful. You see what I mean? We could all be connected that kind of way differently still, you know. But we have to clean up. You see what I mean? If you don't clean up like I'm telling you, you just get a bit of tissue, my yes. If you don't clean up like I'm telling you, right? It would be like, say, like we say, you know, the ocean and with fishes. But you are just swimming in the shallows, terrified of the depths. But without going to the depths, you ain't going to understand certain things. You see what I mean? Thank you. Excuse I am in. Because I and I know one thing. You know. Everyone is afraid of the Noah. Not that the Noah is going to do anyone anything. You know? So I don't know what is this uh, great fear of the um, words that the Noah speak. You see what I mean? Now, like I say, the Noah know there is no need for any um, wise man, any spiritual guru, any minister of um, God word or whatever. Because God word is already within man, you know. Because God is in man, you know. What you call God, the highest form of intelligence. 
Huh? I say it's better if we um, call it um, conscience. Huh? It's within man and woman. That's where this, the truth springs from. Now, like I can say, you know, they know I wouldn't say these things if you know I never know it, you know. You know, and fearless wouldn't bother get fearless and serious wouldn't get serious about it. You know, if they know I never know it, as opposed to say, believe in it. You see what I mean? Or, or even say, feeling it then. You know? No, 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 no. The knowing is a different thing. Knowing is just knowing it. You see what I mean? So what beings call God, which is the highest form of intelligence, you know? They know, uh, know that one. You see what I mean? Because this one is within the know, that's how the know, I know the one in it. I know the devil as well, now he's within. You see what I mean? Because like I say, they know, because they know, you know, because they know, I know he's a fearless brethren. Alright, here how the know I work it now. The know I cannot be restricted by family, by race, ancestors, um, God great beings, prophet, angel, whatever they are, sherry, whatever them is. Because here what now? The knower is after knowing what is right and correct and truthful and honest. You see what I mean? So, angels, God's son, prophets, all these are the things that man has shout about, making up noise about. The Noah ain't interested in that because that is not the truth, is it? The Noah is after the living truth. You know? And you know, like I said, you know, you know, you know one thing, no matter what they're making up noise, doing all kind of prayer. The Noah is not interested in that. What the Noah is interested in is taking action. You know, like how, like, if you want to get fit, you go and train. So you have to do the action in it. Or if you want food, you have to plant it. You see what I mean? So the action, the, the, the Noahs know that if you want truth, you have to stop doing wrong. So what the Noah do is set about now, in his entire life, trying to eradicate wrongdoing. Because what the, what the Noah is after is the truth. The, the Noah will stop at nothing. Because it's like a suicide bomber. Where the truth is concerned. You see what I mean? And don't forget, like I said, this man bridging a move with fearless. The man in a ramp. Where the truth is concerned. You see what I mean? Maybe that's why the one had to reveal himself to the Noah. Knowing that the you Noah is so serious, you know, when he come to truth, trust me, just maniac, you know. It's probably say we call a soul like we lunatic in God ways, you know, something. Don't think or feel or breed anything more than the ways of what is right and correct and truthful and honest and desire, you know. Twenty-four seven, all when we are asleep. That's what we spirit must be meditating on, you know? Yeah. So the Noah is always serious about what he knows and what he understands, you know? And the Noah don't speak anything that the Noah don't know himself or flatter anyone in any way to get no praise of them or whatever, you know? Noah don't care. Noah don't speak the truth you know the real truth as they know I see it. nothing else whether you want to like it or you don't want to like it you know so it's just like me would say oh you meet the daughter there and she's one of the baddest mean me ever come up on a, in a creation whether you want to like it or you don't want to like it make no difference because it is true <laughs> so, I mean, it's just a matter of uh, knowing oneself and the depths one of trouble 
within oneself. You see what I mean? You can encounter beings like I say, physically or non-physically. You see what I mean? Now, when they, when, if you meet them physically, even if they was traveling from anywhere in the world, they wouldn't have to be fearless and uh, serious or know anything, if you know what I mean. They could just be anybody who you just meet. But if you ever meet them internally, at the depths that I'm telling you about, they have to be serious, fearless, and know us. Because believers don't tread to those depths. <laughs> Paradox in life, I say. So all of us can be like that, you know. Because these qualities are lying within all of us. It's within the reach of all. But it come right back down to what we're saying. You can't do any reason without mentioning the fact that one have to self-discipline. You already have the seed, but you have to plant the seed for the result too. You see what I mean? In planting no seed, nothing. But here people don't plant seed. They are, well, not even relying on the crap. They are relying on the crap that others plant. You know? And you can't um, consume what others plant. It won't be good for you, you know? You have to do your own planting here. You see what I mean? Because if you rely on the, the, the crap that others plant, that means you are believing them. Uh, you refuse to plant your own crap for whatever reason. You know? Don't forget we can have all kind of selfishness growing within the mind. As it was. You know what I mean? Like I say, we live tribal here anyway, different races and things. So that is racism. Now a racist mind cannot see the truth. You see what I mean? So that you, you see how much weed have to be come out of the mind of human being before they could um, know and be serious about what and fearless about what they know. Because all these things are um, they are entangling these different things within the mind. I mean, to tell a no, like I say, you know, that um, beings are different beings. That's just madness. <laughs> madness, you know. Fuck with that, man. That's just what um, people believe. Like we say, when they have not yet uh, resurrected spiritually from the mind. The mind being um, the womb, as it was then, of the soul. You see what I mean? You know, like how you come from your physical mother. The mind is thy mother then, you see me? But because the mind represents darkness then, you know, it's the darkness within the womb. And you now have to resurrect from this mind so that you can comprehend where light come from. You see what I mean? You can draw light into thy own mind then, you know? And light up. But you, you ain't resurrecting, you know? Because there's no way around this, you know? No being, you know? That's why I, mean, I said, the intelligence that we call God is just super duper, man. You know? Because there's no way around it. You can't come out of the dark until you change your ways. So at some time, because life is forever, I don't think um, what we call God is, is really bothered. How long it take you? Eternity upon eternity. Because you can't die anyway. So whatever time in eternity then, you decide that, oh, I have no <laughs> accept that the things that I'm doing is wrong, you know? And I am going to change them. Sincerely, this is, you know, within thy heart and mind and soul. Yeah, well, that's when the truth will start to enter thy being. But, you know, the ego is a very proud man, you know. A ah, woman for that matter. He's not going to, he's very prideful. He's not going to admit that easily that um, he's wrong, you know. Um, 
his belief, his bullshit. You know what I mean? Excuse that again. The ego like to hold firm. You see what I mean? So firm that I'm telling you that it's a danger to present the truth to him. Or to try and release him from out of his own ignorance. Because more, more than likely he will react violently. And the last thing anyone would do who know the truth is to react violently. You know? It's like say I'm delivering the truth and a man say, Oh fuck God, God an idiot and all. I have to say to the man, you are entitled to say such things. You know what I mean? After all, God gives you a choice, isn't it? Why now should I think that I have to attack you because you are cursing God? Or you are saying things against God that displeases me? You don't have to take revenge for God. God is God, man. And the law is the law, you know? If I am to be, be punished, I will be. So leave it up to God. God is big and bad enough to defend God then, you know? So if I say to you then, as I know, because I know things, you know, but what I know might hurt you still. It doesn't mean that because I know it is going to please you. It might very well hurt you. So because I am a know and know, and I know that, um, listen man, God cannot send any son here. So that is just a bullshit story that uh, the believers tell you to lead the gullible astray, you know, keep their own mind in ignorance. If I tell you that now, as a believer, you shouldn't want to get upset as if you want to kill me. You should accept that. You know what I mean? Whether you like it or you don't like it, but you, you shouldn't want to get violent. But I'm saying, what I'm saying is a lot of believers get violent, don't you think? Well, I think so. Noah's never do. Why should I know I get uh, violent, you know, whatever anyone want to say? No, 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 the Noah wouldn't get violent, you know. Because the, the Noah don't observe the one getting violent about anything. So there is no need for a Noah to get um, upset or anything, you know. Even though the Noah know, know you know, that um, in this world anyway, I don't know about the next, well, the next one they have known choice, I say. But in this <laughs> In this world, anyway, to know, trust me, it's like you become an outcast, if you know. So, the know, but the know, I don't care. <laughs> this is because they know I have fearless and serious and all them, man, they with them, no, so the know, I know that whenever he tell anyone the truth, like one person, two person, three person, group of them, or him tell the world, our creation, all the beings in creation. Whenever he is delivering the real truth to them, a lot of them is going to feel hurt and offended. You know what I mean? But, he, but because fearless and them man and serious, though we don't care. You see what I mean? This is not about the sentiment of any being within the universe and how they want to feel. This is about what is right and correct and truthful and honest. What we call the truth. You know? It's a law. So they know I don't really care about, like I say, what being want to think, whether them is family, friends, ancestors, whoever they are, you Because know? we are dealing with what is right and correct and truthful and honest. What is the truth? You see what I mean? You know why is a truth soldier that drive blood clad fire, I say, in the souls of beings, whether they are on this planet, are being it's irrelevant to a fire, ain't it? You see what I mean? Because no one can, um, like I'm telling you, no one, no being anywhere in creation can outshine the light of firehouse. No boasting about that, because the light in firehouse is the lights of lights. It is the light of the terrible and dreadful one himself. The one that beings here right now, we'll call on right here you now, um, conscience. This same one that I'm telling you about now, this terrible and dreadful one, eh, that we would call Rastafari. Those believers in Christianity has gotten to them now. Because the one have many names in it. Right. Let's say the one's called God, conscience, 
Rastafari, Jehovah, I am the way, the light, through all kind of name. Eh? <coughs> but anyway, as God knows this Christian here you now, and listen to the story carefully, you know. Because no one can know the truth unless the, the one teach it to them. You know, God. Because God is in you, you know. And God got many names. So, the Christian now have a story where them say, yeah, Jesus is the way, man. Because Jesus, a man will come out a woman, you know, says, I am the way and the light. No one come to the, come to the truth unless they come through I. Now, that is not a personal statement, you know. It is a true statement, but it is not a personal one. It is an impersonal one. Because I am is another name for the one. So there is no way you can know the truth unless you come through the one that is in yourself. But they are portraying the story now that Jesus was talking about himself. Well, Jesus is not a real character. You know, it's like Harry Potter, but still, they are referring that the character now mean that we as beings now cannot know the truth unless we come through him, Jesus. But Jesus was not I am. You know, if, if Jesus was real, he couldn't have been I am, because I am was dwelling long time before him come out a woman. And I am is still here even though him dead long time, isn't me? So they know I don't um, take those kind of story. Um, uh, uh, no, I take those kind of story as just nonsensical. Very amusing story still. Cause you know I is a man who love a story still. You know what I mean? Met the riddle and all those men. You know, and Mrs. Paradox. You know, but never take um, stories. Are just stories, and you tell them to amuse. But you can't take them serious. You know? There's no way you could tell tell a new say, uh, um, say um, a man was born of a virgin birth. Can you know I would say, what so? Are you trying to say God was trying to show off then? Cause that would mean that um, God created man to procreate. And then wanted to prove to man that he could do it without man doing it. So that is a kind of showing off business. And you know, I know that you cannot find God guilty of showing off. Or being egoistic in no farm, whatever. Because then you wouldn't be dealing with God. You might be dealing with the number, number two. Might have sneaked two ideas in your head, you know. To fatten your ego. But you wouldn't be dealing with the one. Because there is no deceit within the one. You can't get it. There is only light within the one. There is no darkness within the sun. There is a living fire. Light that come out there. You know what I mean? And like you can see, like I am saying now. When you look out in the outer world. The brightest. Um, there is all kind of things shining light. Up. Many stars giving light. You know? There is not just one thing giving light. It's just that the light of the sun is the brightest one out there. You see what I mean? And in the night time when you, you look out there's many things, many stars shining light, but the light of the moon is the light that burn the brightest out there. You see what I mean? Because that is the light of firehouse. The lights of lights. <laughs> no light, you see. So it's not that people don't have light. You see what I mean? Or that you even have to reach firehouse to have light. You don't have to reach firehouse to have light. You know, just like I'm saying, you see all them stars are shining the light, isn't it? But in firehouse, like I'm saying, you know, shining the light. So like that's where they know and know things, isn't it? You see what I mean? Beyond um, not only beyond physical, you know, but beyond this, beyond uh, mental as well, because this is beyond the regions of the mind. Far, far regions we're dealing with, oh, you know, to really um, observe what is happening over in a um, firehouse where light and shoot come from. You see what I mean? That's why I didn't know I don't bother with anything like, say, wise man. 
I would ever want to be classed as any wise. There's nothing to do with any. You cannot be wise. You see what I mean? When you reach firehouse, you encounter the one. You see, there's nothing to be wise about more than you just know this one or you know what is within thyself. Or if you want to call it your eyes open. But there's nothing wise. You can't go about saying how oh, you're wise. Wise about what? <laughs> yeah, we are only here to um, like we say then as an example. Once your eyes open, to try your best. Which when you're trying your best, like I said, they are going to fight against you anyway. I hate you and dislike you at the same time. But as long as breath is moving from through the body, I and I will persist then in trying to wake others who are sleeping by speaking in a in a in a way hopefully that everyone can understand you know what i mean simply in, by giving guys only giving out a recipe as far as i'm concerned you see what i mean and even those who, who, have, who have never considered cooking then it's so simple that they could use the recipe then as it was if you know what i mean because the recipe is quite simple Stop the wrongs that you are doing honestly and your eyes will open and you will behold uh, whatever the glory of life, whatever you want to call it in it, or the great understanding that is within thyself, the light, the truth, whatever label you want to put on it, God. You know what I mean? But you can't do it when you're going to church and when you join in an organization and all these different kinds of things. All that is bullshit, you know what I mean? Because if it wasn't bullshit, then you know I would be in one of these organizations. I would seek to join one of them, you know? One of these secret society and that we think got the knowledge and the wisdom. And, you know? They haven't got nothing. What you are seeking is already within yourself. So you don't have to join anyone, you know, see what I mean? Well, fearless would be, you know, fearless a bad boy, you know? <laughs> And see you see me say, oh, yeah, I tell my youth about giant. We don't link. We only giant with the one that's within ourselves. Somehow. We wouldn't go and join any, you know, either to worship God. Like, you don't have to join anybody to worship God. You alone can worship God wherever you are, really. No one, like I said, no one don't have to see you doing it. You see what I mean? It's a private thing between you and Jack. So you don't have to join anybody in anything. That doesn't mean, well, that doesn't mean you're going to be unsociable, you know, because you're going to meet people and talk to them and reason with them just the same. You see what I mean? Because even though I'm not joining anyone in any religious movements and all these kind of things, I'm still sitting here speaking religiously. Yeah, I'm a religious man, me, you know. Yeah. If, if religion means to follow the way of the terrible and dreadful God, well, that is a and I mission, isn't it? So I would say, yes, yes, I'm a highly religious man, you know? And every day I try and give a sermon on the ways of the terrible and dreadful God, like I'm doing here now, preaching the word of God. But not no false God, you know, the living fire God, you know? But this is what I'm saying now, because I'm doing that. You think there'll be any gathering? Like say, you know, in the afternoon here we are spitting fire. You think a few people would get around to hear the words that are coming out of my mouth, even though I'm saying that they are the word of believing God. No! Stay away, man. They don't want to hear the word of God. You know, people really, in general, you know, they don't want to hear the word of God. They want to um, hear something um, to believe in them. Or to hope in, uh, wish for, you know. But if, 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 when you deliver the real fire to them and say, Hey Chuck, forget about that man. Have you examined your action and how you live and the things you do and how you do them? You know? Forget about God for a minute, man. You know? And Jesus, you know. Yeah, them great, them great. Leave them aside for a minute. We want to examine you down to the nitty gritty within thy own soul and being you now. Now, what have you been doing on this planet and how have you been living your life? You see what I mean? 
are you a racist you know what i mean are you patriotic and whatever this because all these are diseases within the mind you know uh, weeds growing within the garden so like i'm saying if one is not fearless and serious ain't no way of rooting out these weeds you know you might prune prune a little bit of it but i mean that that's not rooting things out because what you prune will spring again i'm on about rooting it out from the root certain you see what i mean otherwise these diseases infect the mind and cause the mind to go blind you know not only in one eye in both eye. <laughs> so you see what i mean that's why one have to be um, like i say be serious not only serious, fearless. So, if, if, if you know serious and fearless, man, ain't no way of knowing that things are going to scare you, innit? it? But you tell me what can scare fearless because fearless is the opposite of fear. So when fearless come, fear of your run. You see what I mean? That's how the program run. So when you move in with the spirit of fearless, you don't fear anyone or anything. Anywhere in creation, you know what I mean? There's nothing to fear. So from there's nothing to fear, you can see both the positive and the negative. Because you're not terrified of them, are you? Yeah, as you say, observe the good and the bad. Uh, talk to both, both of them you know what that means yeah you can reason with the devil you know and the devil will show you that oh yeah yeah of course i speak negativity to you that's my job you know, okay what you expect me to do shine light i haven't got any you know he's the one that shine the light that's it, just shine light i i am just darkness you see me so me just shine darkness you know why well, ain't um, looking any recruits from you humans to recruit you in? I haven't got no organization, you know. I'm just negative. You see what I mean? All you, I can't force you to be like to be negative. You know what I mean? Because I haven't got a choice. You are the one with it. You know. So if you want, you know, if you desire such matters, then as my negativity, you can choose. Because you are the one with the goddamn choice. You know what I mean? But if you decide not to follow my negativity, I cannot force you. If you know what I mean. So, you know, you can have... Uh, I said the devil is a reasonable brethren that one can come to know and understand. You see what I mean? Because you can't keep the devil quiet. You can't stop that, you know. But you can learn to ignore that or to reason with the devil. You know? But he's always a try thing still, but, you know? But you still have to know this one. Because this one is a part of thy own being. All right, I always say, you have to get past this one. You have to get past the number two. To know the number one. Like, say, um, we didn't miss a man about it. You know. Like say the mind. What was the um, you know like how we, we sold here you now this body is shielding our spirit then. So you have to get past the body to know that there is a spirit within. Well the mind not your mind you know, the overall mind itself is the body of God. So it is negative to the spirit of God then. So to know the positive, you have to get past the mind, penetrate the mind, to see the spirit that is within the mind. And the spirit that is within the mind is the terrible and dreadful one himself, Rastafari, Fosfield General, the one that gives it light to the mind. If you know what I mean. Well, the Noah says, you know, you will know these things when you learn to travel to the depths. You know, they're not stories that are making up. You know, others can um, 
know these things themselves and know this one themselves. You see what I mean? And know the truth themselves. It's not a, like a private uh, club where does one being can know it, you know? Coming back to my sister as well, like I said. So glad I meet her. Cause down in them depths, like <laughs> Because it's dreader than dread then. You ain't going to encounter many souls, if you know what I mean. Trust me. It's a lonely trad. You see what I mean? Hence my, um, like I said, my total joy at um, running into somebody at those depths. And you know how I love the depths as well. Because I say I'm a Pisces and here they represent it by fishes swimming, you know. So I say I'm a fish that swims. But I do my swimming in the mind because I cannot swim in the physical outside. But inside, no problem. Swim to great depths without any fear. Fearless, you know, and serious. So if I tell you that I meet somebody way down there in the depths, man, and you must check those, that person out and reason with them, you should. You know? So like I say, if you're on Twitter, Check out the account of MK Lively and reason if you want to know more about the mysteries of God. That's you know, and the ways of the terrible and dreadful God. I say, sweet me even more like how it's coming from the male, the female, you know. Because here is a male, I say a male dominated world then, that the negative energies have created. Those who live in ignorance, those who are believers and not knowers. You see what I mean? Because there is no way knowers would live in such a way as to show such disrespect to a part of their own being, what they call the feminine side. You know what I mean? Because if you do that, you ain't going to know who you are. You see what I mean? So because they know I, they, they, they know I am, know all these things then, like I said. And you know these things like I'm telling you, after when you're self-disciplined. You see what I mean? You will see um, what we call equality then. You won't be confused between, like I tell you, because um, you hear some people, they always say, well, this is, well, I say some people, believers, are unbelievers, arguing about whether God is a male or a female. You see, but when you know things now, you don't. There's no argument about whether what we call God is a male or a, because God is not a male or a female. God is just God. You see what I mean? God don't live, or if we just call it live, or dwell, or dwell in duality. We do. <laughs> you know what I mean? You see what I mean? God is a separate thing, man. Nothing to do with uh, male or female. But male, male or female, though, can draw the light from the one equally as it was you know you know like how um, I say backward people believers here and earth now the way they have things set up then where God is concerned I'm talking about you know? in their religious establishment all of them is uh, male run or if there was any prophet or whoever seen uh, 99% of them is male so definitely there is an imbalance in it. You could say, oh, well, dear God prefer men. <laughs> if you know what I mean. But that's just in, 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 um, in, in, in the ways of belief. You know what I mean? Because knowing the truth has got nothing to do with your gender, actually. All it's got to do is self-discipline, is it? So, what we call the female uh, have the same ability not to do wrong or think wrong or feel wrong just like any other being. Isn't it? It's not a heavy load. You wouldn't have to lift up anything heavy to do it, is it? 
<laughs> you know what I mean? I'll be especially qualified in any particular skill. Like I say, I myself here is a dumbo. You know what I mean? My sister is not a dumbo. Is it? When I say a dumbo, you know, I just mean in the educational sense. So, you know, it's not a big deal to me. Because... I love the fact then, as, a, as an example, that I think, oh yeah, my sister is, is educated, you know what I mean? We love that man, the way I say, man. Because don't forget, you know, I'm a fire then, as an example then. Because I'm just simple, you know. I would love it to say, 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 me have a wife and she was, I don't know, some... Some nuclear scientist, I mean, well, not nuclear, because they are wicked. But some great thing, anyway, some educational thing. Because I mean, I'm not educated, you know. Yeah, well, I mean, we'd love that man. So, yeah, my wife is educated, man. And can put things in an educational way that I can't. You know what I mean? There's no need to be, uh, what I call, be jealous of anything, you know. In firehouse, we don't deal with those kind of things. You see what I mean? There is an energy that take on both, both the educated and the uneducated. You know what I mean? And educate them in a way beyond their uneducated or education. <laughs> you know what I mean? Let them know who they are really. You know? Beyond education, that is. If you know what I mean. Because trust me, no matter how I am, you know, like here, I know it always say beans are educated, are the clever, are nuclear scientists, are what. Yeah, you educate any one of those beans I'm talking as well, you know. In whatever science they know, yeah, they're educated in that. But bring them to the firehouse now where we have to discuss common sense and knowing thy own self. And you will see the difference. That these beings don't know themselves and we yet awake blind souls, you know what I mean? When it comes to knowing, when it comes to fearlessness, or to serious, you know what I mean? Just like me and my friend was reasoning about the mind before, and I was trying to explain to him that um, you know, there is one road through the mind, yeah. You know, like a one road, yeah. Because the mind is a vast region and we have to travel through it. You know. So it's got different dimensions and all kind of thing. But there's just one road through it as well. Now I just stick to that one road. I don't bother go and investigate down there with a magic car. Whatever. That you can study all kind of thing. You know. Some people spend years down there doing one thing, you know. So I just stay on the, the one road. And don't study nothing else in the mind more than what is right and correct. Just do that. Whatever else is going on in the mind, I don't want to know. You see? Now that kind of way, now that's what can make us emerge from the womb of the mind into the light. Same thing like how a chick would come out an egg. And then when that happens now, you are going to observe life from a different perspective, as they would say. Because you, you are now going to be able to see what you couldn't see before. And know, and know what you was believing in. So now, once you know what you might have, because I was never a believer, I was more doubtful, Thomas. But once you know now what you was believing in, you don't believe again. It's a similar thing to if a baby, when a baby learn to walk, they don't go back crawling. They just continue to walk and develop and walk stronger and more powerful. We don't go back crawling. You see what I mean? And the believing, believing is a stage of crawling. You see what I mean? Where one has not yet um, learned to walk, even though one has the ability to learn how to walk because we all have the ability there is no one who is excluded from this because the one is within all you see what I mean the one that I'm talking about you know is not no strange one it might sound strange to you because I am I am I am telling you that I have seen the one 
But, it, that, but, but that shouldn't even make it more clearer then when you're here. Because you might have felt this one, but never know what it was as it was. <laughs> you know? And now you have a man telling you, yeah, yeah, it's a terrible and dreadful God himself. <laughs> He's seen that one, you no, know, the one that the one that no one can hide from, you know. The light that is within all who's ever live. I say I like to put it this way. But I'm not swearing in this reasoning too much. That this one is the one that is within all beings who has emerged out of the womb of woman. Well, the two as well is there, you know. Both of, both of these energies always ride with any soul. And any soul at all who emerge out of the womb, as an example then, and know any truth that was really true, have to learn it from my master, the one himself. Because that is the giver of light. You know? Truth come from nowhere. I am the way and the light. No one come to, the, to God unless you come through I. Not me who is speaking, you know, but the one that is within thyself. The one that you cannot hide from. And you, we have a... Mali make a tune, man. You're running and you're running and you're running away. But you can't run away from yourself. But you can't run away from your memory either, you know. Memory is a video, man, that operates differently. Technically. Because like I'm telling them, um, beings, as a know, not as a believer, yes, your body shall fade away, but we are not bodies away, we are spirit. This is where serious get vexed. You see what I mean? Because now I'm telling you, you now, that spirit have no color. And you have some like a stupid being and those levels of life that that is confusing life. Living in a black and white and nation and all that kind of way. You see what I mean? When the only thing that's happening here is that spirit is dwelling in different farms. The same spirit. You see what I mean? Like I say, you know, each will pay for their own ignorance. Because here we are here to make a choice. You see, man? So I cannot, uh, if, if everyone decides to choose ignorance, I have no right to stop them still. But I am just appealing then, you know, out of love. Because I and I love love in a different kind of way still. You see, man? I and I is in love with love that I. Uh, it wouldn't be able to translate it to beings to understand that because you can only feel certain things they cannot be put into words if you know what i mean like say as an example then i don't know what ambition beings have here you know when they come to the earth maybe some of them want to have this that i don't know but my only ambition here then, if I have to have an ambition, is to destroy the evil and wicked way that beings live here. Because it's utterly uh, disgusting to uh, my soul actually, you know. It's just vile and sick. You know what I mean? You can actually believe that God's creation is actually, has actually chose them. Because it's not, it's not as if it's, you know, choose to live like that. No one has enforced it on them. It's not as if you know it have you have to do it then. Eh? You know what I mean? Like say, if there was a real devil and the devil get into you, so you have to do it. You have no choice, but we have no choice but to live vile and sick and evil. Yeah, fair enough. But the Noah knows that nothing go like that. Nothing is enforced upon known being. Beings made the choice to be this sick and vile you know and the most sickest, sickest and vilest of them like i'm saying where will you find them dressed up in their nice garbs and suit and tie and speaking the best of the language wherever they live in whatever you know these are the pretenders that is you know the vile and sickos who hide their sickness behind like i say appearance as it was then you know but what is the point of hiding your vile and sick behavior from men i keep repeating it 
men are not the one. You see, that's what they know, I know. You should try, right, <laughs> and hide it from yourself. Or better still, erase it from memory. Because don't forget, memory video, everything that you do in it. You know, like men, men who are in the, what they call Mason, Skull and Bone, Illuminati, all kind of thing and thing and thing, yeah? Yeah, you might be in there hiding from the next door neighbor, the rest of the world. But your next door neighbor, the rest of the world isn't God, is it? They are not the law. Hide what you're doing from your own memory. Or hide it from the one who is watching you. Because just like how I'm looking at you in the camera here, you know, in the invisible, that's how the one light up everyone. You know, everyone is living under the light of a terrible and dreadful God. There ain't no way of hiding from this energy. There ain't no way of doing anything and it is hidden. Nothing is hidden. You are living. <laughs> You know, like when you, when you, tomorrow in the day, like when it's night time, or tomorrow in the daytime, when you see the sun come out and light up everywhere. Yeah? That's how we live within. The spirit, our spirit is lit up totally by the light of the terrible and dreadful one who see it all that we do. There ain't no way of us hiding anything or escaping anything. But like I said, the majority are not aware of this light. You see, and the, if you are not aware, there's only one way that you cannot be aware, and it's only because of what you are doing, how you're living. You see what I mean? So one must examine themselves, coming back to that, like I'm saying again, you know, with the honesty, and remove the faults that one finds within thy own self. If one is ever going to find thy true self, and then, like I'm saying, be able to be a knower, one who is not afraid, because when you know the truth, what are you being afraid of? There's nothing to be afraid of, is there? When you know the truth. Because there is a truth within us that we can find out. How we can learn to live as one. How we can learn and understand what oneness is. See it, you know what I mean, and explain it. You know? I can say over and over, one universe. One planet Earth. On the planet Earth, you have one race of beings living, human beings. Within those human beings, you have the one spirit that watched them all. What we call God, Rastafari, terrible and dreadful overlord. The wisdom and the truth and the light within all beings. You know, this one. Just like all the one sun up above, shine light for the whole planet Earth. So within this one, himself shine light for all you see no one do have to go anywhere to look for this one because this one is within yourself paradox of the terrible and dreadful one you see what i mean anywhere you are you you can you can connect with the one if you are not connected with the one the only reason why you're not connected with the one is your own behavior i you know lying cheating it that's it they say the light will not enter, water will not enter a dirty vessel. You know? You need to clean up. Once you clean up honestly, you know what I mean? You intend to, to cease your wrongdoings. The light of the terrible and dreadful God will enter thee and you'll be able to see the truth. You won't have to I say I run in a Bible about you, or read or whatever books man write. Because like I'm telling you, know I don't care where man write. They don't, they, 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 they know I don't care if wise man lived before and write a billion wise book. You see what I mean? Because they know I don't, that, what's that got to do with knowing? To go and read what somebody else said. That is not a knower, is it? I know I just talk about what the knower knows. So they know he's not interested to go and read and say, oh, Peter said this or God said Peter. They don't care about that. They don't care about what they say. You know, I don't care about what Bible wants to say, Quran, ancestor, this, that, that. Because that is not the truth in it. The Bible and the Quran and all that. Not, it's not the truth. It's a book written by man in it. The truth is not written, is it? You know what I mean? Truth is a different movement. Quran, you know? Life, Quran. Always around. You know, you can't write God. You can't write conscience, this is a thing in itself. 
Just like how the sun, you can't write the sun, the sun is already there, isn't it? In reality, there, a real thing giving light. The same thing with what we call God, or if you put it in just conscience, it is already within. You can't write, you can't do nothing, it's a living thing. A reality. You see what I mean? So they know I deal with the reality. The living thing. You see what I mean? So when we are talking about God, we don't go and say, oh yeah, you know, God is up in heaven. And I say, no man, God is a reality. A real and a truth. But your vision can be blocked. Or your mind can be clogged up so that you cannot comprehend God then. You see what I mean? And your vision can be blocked, or will be blocked, by your own behavior. Your own negativity that you are ceasing to correct. Like I tell you before, you know, that's why all these people end up as believers. Because all believers are people who are not facing up to the fact that they have not made full correction within their own beings. They have faults that they are not working on. Or that they refuse to work in. Whatever it is. But if you do that, you're going to end up being a believer or an unbeliever. But if you clear up your faults, honestly, the light is going to enter you and you're going to know the living God. You see what I mean? So you don't know, say, I went now. When fearless is counseling, I don't know. If you don't know God, those uh, men destroy you. Know, with just the word. So you can't read for any Bible because that would just be showing you weakness and cowardness in it. And that you don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> so no preachers of religion can testify at them. Because they can all they can speak for themselves, can they? They can only refer to what books say. So that, that class you're out of it already. That means you have nothing to say like an empty barrel. You see what I mean? You see, it's easy to um, for the Noah, like I say, to destroy those kind of folly. Although the people won't listen still. I'm not saying, oh yeah, the Noah is going to speak and everyone. They're not going to believe anything that the Noah tell them. They rather believe those who don't know tell them. Those who are ignorant. You know what I mean? But trust me, man. For you to know anything, or for you to, why are you going to wind down this reasoning here now? For you to understand anything proper, or even to know another human being, like I said, proper, you have to meet them in the depths. No, this is what kind of experience teach you these things over time, you know what I mean? Because at one time, I would have definitely think to myself that, no, to know somebody, you'd have to actually have to meet them. You know what I mean? And then experience showed me that, no, you can meet them and still don't know them. Live with them for a long time and don't know them. You know what I mean? And yet, you can never meet somebody now, like in the case of me and MK Lively. Never met. But I know her more than the people who I see regularly, never you know what I mean. Why? Yeah, good question, you know. Well, I know why still, you know. But I just pose the question, why to those who don't understand? Why? It's because of self-discipline. In my being and in her being, even though I don't see her, it? But I already know that to reach those depths, are to have those understanding, it can only be done by a being who is seriously into what is right and correct and truthful and honest and take them things there, you know? That means we ignore certain things that are going on within Babylon then. Fix them. Maybe people might say you're, you're weird or you're freaky or different, you know, it doesn't really matter, you know? But there's always something different about certain beings who reach certain depths. And they have to be different because they are moving against the tide. You see what I mean? Come, it's, a, it's a negative world, so most of the energies are going in that direction. When, it, when, when we are moving in this direction, you know? 
as a lone soldier as well because we're not moving as a crowd in it and you see what i mean the few people who are away they probably here and there and scatter you know what i mean like i am over here and she's in usa over there you know what so it's not like we have a little congregation of true people moving you know so when a, when a true soldier buck it's him alone or she alone that buck the whole force of negativity <laughs> you know what i mean and have to deal with that but you know what i mean because we're moving with the spirit of fearless because you don't know fearless don't fear the more people fearless that just get fearless excited ready for battle <laughs> you know and serious just yeah man and yeah we deadly serious about them thing the man you know, so he wouldn't care if it was a trillion people who try and fight against the truth more of them the better and dead them dead <laughs> when you say them dead you know, well, sp spit the word of truth in them you know what I mean? anyway i and i've been spitting the word of truth here you now for a long time in this reasoning about uh, the noah I say people fear the Noah. People don't like you know. The you Noah know, is not like Mr. Humble and them man. It are the you Noah know, work with fearless and them man. The man they like we tell it raw. And more time when you speak the fire raw, people people is have a tendency. Well, who are you to say these things? You know. Well, what you mean who am I? I'm part of creation, like any other being who come out a woman in it and have mouth for talk and talk before. Awesome. dealing with the equal right and justice thing so i have a right to sp to speak like any other being in it if you know what i mean you see what i mean well and like i'm telling you know you shouldn't worry about what i'm saying because if what is coming out of my mouth is not right and correct it is my soul who is going to suffer for that in it for come here pretending to know the truth when i don't know the truth I'm talking a lot of bullshit out of my mouth. So you see what I mean? So you don't have to worry about that. You see what I mean? Let I and I worry about that. I will fearless don't care anyway. So fearless, I uh, fearless just drive the truth within man. Whether them are woman, whether them like it or them don't like it. You see what I mean? Like sunlight is shining, you know care whether beans going to like if sunlight is shining shine so when i'm spitting fire to spit for there whether you like it or not you see what i mean because i and i know what i know and i'm fearless and serious about it and right on that point i and i is going to reel out and feel out from the firehouse like them say happy new year you know see, ja willing that is you know <laughs> yeah, you know january enough man i got dead in a january you know rasta in a new year then. Some you don't some some you know and some you don't know. And then when February come again, no of them gone February. March, no March out. Right through the year, no? Mr. Death will be coming to reap. You know? We can be reap at any time, so one should be prepared. Prepare thyself for the coming of Mr. Death. Reel out, feed out and fire out from the firehouse. You know? Astafari, leave it and reign it in the mind and soul of all human beings who ever emerge out of the womb of woman. 